वेलकम लेट्स बिगिन विद अ नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ 25 क्वेश्चंस फॉर योर महाराज सेट पेपर वन नाउ हियर द क्वेश्चंस वर वेरी वेरी लॉजिकल वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इफ यू लुक ऑन टू द क्वेश्चंस केयरफुली इवन विद लॉजिक यू शुड बी एबल टू सॉल्व इट सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस वर फ्रॉम द न्यू टॉपिक्स ऑफ योर एन टी नेट पेपर वन सिलेबस सो ऑल्सो रेप्लीकेटेड इन योर स्टेट सेट सो दीज बिकम्स बिकम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर स्टेट सेट एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल नाउ हियर द सीक्वेंस इज ग्रास इज बींग fed by cow milk is obtained from cow curd is produced from milk and butter is produced from curd so a becomes your right sequence here the next question you have the alphabets that are there now a simple sequence that you have to follow is to understand what is the kind of jump that is seen now here in the first h becomes i so h becomes i so d would become e so it's just the immediate letter i can remove a and d as the options the next is j becomes l so j becomes l i jump one so f becomes h i jump one so the only option that's true is b here the next question is parrots have green color now this is a direct statement which explains perception or pratyaksh so the six anuma the pramans which we have talked about of which one is pratyaksh or perception which is obtained through your senses and here parrot is green in color is obtained through your direct sense and therefore the answer is perception now here you have a syllogism problem you have donkey hard working and human beings now all donkeys are hard working so i can remove this region then i say some hard working animals are human beings so i just put a cross here based on that i can say some donkeys are hard working that's correct because some donkeys are hard working if donkeys are present they would be here only but some donkeys are human beings cannot be concluded because it could be a possibility that whatever donkeys are there would be in this region so the only conclusion based on these two statements that i can draw is conclusion 1 a very important topic from your syllogism just refer the video on syllogism that we have covered now here boys is students and girls so this is the best match that could be seen so this is a student boys and girls so boys can be outside the students and students can have uh, except boys and girls students can be adult as well so you can have a combination that could be seen only in choice a now this is a very interesting and a very logical question understand it carefully total number of candidates is 1000 total number of male candidates is 550 past candidates is 700 so male candidate is 550 female candidate is how much 450 now let's consider two cases if i consider all male candidates to pass then how many female candidates would pass 150 so i have to find out the successful male candidates that could pass so 550 could be one of the limits in the next case i say all the female candidates pass that is 7 450 which are female candidates would pass so out of the 700 how many males would pass it would be 700 minus 450 that is 250 so my range would be 250 to 550 and this is a simple question on maxima and minima a very interesting question indeed the next question you have total number of employees males and female that are given the ratio of male to female and the percentage of post graduate to the total employees that is given now the first question here was find out the male employees in state d so state d is here that's 40000 and male employees is 14 is to 6 so 14 male 6 females so it would be 14 by 14 plus 6 into 40000 so that is 14 into 20000 okay because uh, 2000 because this would cancel over so 28000 would be my right answer <coughs> excuse me so 14 divided by 20 into 40000 so 20 makes it 2 so it is 14 into uh, 20000 so it becomes uh, 14 into 2000 that becomes 28000 okay so 28000 becomes my right option so these are commas not full stop sorry okay so you have 28000 as the right um, uh, option the next is find the number of post graduate females in state b so state b you have 30000 total 50% are post graduate so first of all i find out 50% of 30000 so that is 
Of this 15,000, I have to find out female postgraduate. So that would be 8 is to 7. So that is 7 divided by 15 into 15,000 because this 15 comes from 8 plus 7. And the top 7 is the female. So I just remove this. So this is 7,000. So 7,000 becomes my right answer. So for the next question here, you would have 7,000 as the right answer. Now here you have the percentage that is given so you have a b c and d percentage that is given e is unknown so first of all i'll find out the percentage for e so out of 100 i add all these so 35 plus 15 is 50 20 plus 20 40 50 plus 40 90 100 minus 90 is 10 so other charges would be how much 10 percent now the question the first question that was here was if the cost of paper is 16000 what is the amount of other charges so cost of paper that is uh, b uh, now b is 20% okay when it is 20% it is 16000 so when it is 10% how much it would be it would be 8000 as simple as that so very direct question the cost of paper is 16000 at 20% so at other charges 10% how much it would be it would be 8000 the next question is tax deducted at source is 10% of the royalty amount now royalty amount is 15% 20% that was the cost of paper makes it 16000 okay so 15% would be how much it would be 12000 okay now 10% of this is tax deducted at source so 10% of 12000 would be how much it would be 1200 so a becomes your right option a very direct uh, question the next question is full form of iptv that is internet protocol television television over internet protocols as simple as that so very important very interesting the first computer INEC directly 1945 right answer so all these questions have been covered in the postal material you can just refer that recently closed services telegram the last telegram that was sent in 2013 that was called as stop and after that india does not send any telegram facility the next is for recruitment of school teachers in maharashtra the online web portal is what is known as pavitra portal and pavitra is the right answer national digital library is a single repository of uh, learning with a single window search facility Friendly for differentially able people and developed by IIT Kharagpur. So that was the option here. So all of those three options are correct. So A becomes the incorrect option. Ozone depletion, you have Montreal Protocol, a very direct question. So Ramsar Convention talks about wetlands, again important for your examination perspective. Noise is measured under decibel, so decibel is the unit to measure the noise. PPM is the particulate matter concentration and that's for the pollution levels. Green India Mission is part of National Action Plan of Climate Change. We have covered a separate video on National Action Plan on Climate Change and it's indeed a part of your new topics under paper one. So again important. Again from the new topics you have international solar alliance so this was first developed and proposed by indian prime minister a very direct question concentration of toxics through the fruit food chain results into biomagnification so with each successive level uh, each trophic level we say the accumulation or the concentration increases and that is what is known as biomagnification under the Vedic system of education, we talk about technical and scientific education that was propounded. And this is important. Charak and Susustru were some of the major proponents under this. Uh, according to UGC, which state has the highest proportion of uh, universities? So the right answer here is Uttar Pradesh with more than 29 universities. And then you have certain states like Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim, which do not have uh, the state universities that are there. For the creation of MOOC courses uh, in different disciplines, MHID has notified uh, UGC as one of the nation, uh, national coordinators and this is important question because it's one of the direct questions that have been there from MOOC. Most of the state universities are affiliating universities and they offer various courses not only for the undergraduate but also for the postgraduate programs. Now which of the following courses uh, organization arranges administrative courses for the principals of schools? So it is the NCTE, the National Council for Teacher Education. 
and that's the right answer for this question so with this we finish the 50 questions of your maharaj set paper one highly important for those uh, preparing for the upcoming net examinations nda net examinations and as i mentioned a lot of questions were there from the new topics so even for your state examinations the state set the new topics which are introduced in your net syllabus become very very important so cover those topics very very carefully have a great day ahead thank you